and about four uh, almonds, unless you make your own. There are some that they have a little bit more, but they have to add sugar uh, for consistency, for flavor, for many reasons. And they are very low in protein. Therefore, try to find things that are, when you're vegetarian, you try to find things that are a little bit higher in protein. Would you, would you You, my recommendation in regular uh, soy milk? No, um, not soy milk. Okay. I drink almond milk because I'm lactose intolerant. Okay. And I found out for some reason even soy milk. Um, it doesn't milk. agree with your system. Yeah. I, I got one this week, but it's very expensive. Uh, one that is made from sweet peas that I mentioned last week. And it's about in the container, about half a gallon, it's about more than uh, four dollars and fifty cents. What about those that are given price and when you check, when you have the opportunity, sometimes it's fun if you have a little bit of time or you know, even if you're in a hurry, check some extra products and look at the labels, you're going to see that you have almost one gram of protein. They should have at least eight grams of protein to be like a milk substitute. But if you're just enjoying it with cereal, you're not looking for like your protein salts from the almond milk, would you suggest then go for like unsweetened almond milk? Yeah. Yeah. Unsweetened yeah. would be better. Yeah. Unsweetened yeah. would, would, would be better. Yeah. yeah. And also, you know, it's like the one I bought, I bought it unsweetened, has only yeah. one gram of carbohydrate. The four doesn't have any. The one that they from, you know, made with sweet peas. <laughs> The flavor is so smooth, it doesn't taste like anything, but I'm going to use it when I make uh, smoothies. For smoothies, that one would be perfect, because then if I put banana, the sweetness of the banana is going to be enough to counteract the lack of flavor in the other one. I'm going to get 10, 10 grams of protein for that one. And the one with sugar tastes like uh, a vanilla the type vanilla. of milk. I mean, the, the regular mm -hmm. um, joy, um, regular flavor, the, the, tea, the kind of sweet taste it has yeah. to me tastes like, like a vanilla. They have uh, vanilla milk. Sugar milk. It, it, I know, yeah. but it, even, it, even the regular to me uh, tastes like a little bit of vanilla yeah, yes, flavor on it because yes. it's too, too sweet. It, it's like a, um, like a drink. Really, we call them milk, but they are drinks. Yeah. Milk is only from, you know, the cows. Uh, <laughs> uh, but those are those are drinks. But you know, take some time and check what is new in the market. Mm -hmm. Check uh, before I I decided for the soy milk I drink. Uh, I tried about eight or nine different ones, mm -hmm. and, and I said, okay, I like this one, but it's too expensive. Let me uh, this one. Who is terrible? Or, until I found something that has the eight grams of protein, because I'm looking for the protein also. Yeah. It, since that, uh, even when I add protein powder to, to the, the what I drink as milk, I add protein powder to that. Just to make sure that, because for my age, I need more protein. Uh, I need about 30, 35, 30 to 40 grams per meal. Uh, therefore, it's a little bit harder. Okay? If and I eat only two meals, you know, you have to take all that into consideration. How many meals do you eat? If you eat two meals, then you have to divide everything in two meals. Uh, 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 all the fruits and vegetables that you have to eat in. Sometimes, like yesterday, I was preparing my breakfast and I was eating a uh, sweet bell, bell pepper uh, with my breakfast because I needed to eat my vegetables. And I like because they are sweet. I like sweet things. I have a sweet. Uh, therefore, I was eating the, the red, the red egg, but those are loaded with nutrition, with uh, vitamin C, with different uh, uh, phytochemicals uh, or phytonutrients. Okay, uh, but take this into consideration because this is very, very important. These these this foods are uh, okay. Nutrition facts that. Definitions, low calorie, many, today you're going to find so, so much 
so many structures in the labels that you like, okay, low this, high this, has this, no G, uh, GMO, uh, organic, or we are going to talk about that. Okay, low calorie is going to be uh, body calories or less per serving, low cholesterol, 20 milligrams or less uh, of uh, cholesterol or saturated fats, less than two grams. We reduced, that means 25% less. If you see something that says it reduced sodium, it's not low, it only has 25% less of the regular product. Um, calorie free, less than five calories, fat free, sugar free, less than one gram of fat or sugar uh, per serving. Good source of, that's mean that has at least 10%. Good source of calcium, at least has 10% of the calcium. That is needed on a diet, on an eating style of 2,000 calories a day. High in uh, means that provides more than 20% of what you need. Okay, natural. Natural is nothing artificial has been added, including colors, nothing artificial. Processed and unprocessed. Sometimes we think it's, if it's processed, it's garbage. No, look at this, processed. Head of spinach is unprocessed. If it's washed, pre-washed, it's processed. Because something was done. Therefore, you need to find out what was done to make it processed. Sometimes processed because it's in a package and went through a lot of processing, but sometimes it was just canned and that made it processed. But that doesn't mean, for example, a can uh, a, a green beans that are low sodium, they are going to be processed, but they are not that different from the fresh ones. And sometimes they can even be a better, it depends uh, how long you have those three things in your refrigerator. Because if they, from, from the farm to your hands, took weeks, nutrients, that, that food has been losing nutrients. Uh, when it's uh, in a can, they are canned pretty fast after, after the harvest. A local means that is grown in an area close to you, which is convenient. Therefore, they were harvested uh, maybe a couple of days before you buy them, and they are going to have more nutrition. Home um, is that they are not processed or refined or anything like that. has been defined by the government and has a legal implication. When it says organic, it has to be organic. That means if it's animal, it cannot have antibiotics or no form. If this plant is going to be, I think it's going to be produced using most conventional, without most of the conventional pesticides, uh, but they still can have some pesticides, okay? Can be used. Uh, usually the, those are ones that have been proven that they are very, they, they don't cause any harm to our body or to the soil. But sometimes they, get, they have to use some pesticides. Therefore, organic doesn't mean that no, absolutely no pesticides. They may have some that are approved for that product. Um, those products are also non-GMO. Um, we are going to talk about what is that. Okay, an organic can be a hundred percent organic and has to be stated in the label like, like as that. Uh, organic, it says only, only organic is 95% is organic. Most likely they use some pesticides. And made with 
organic uh, ingredients, at least 70% of the ingredients are certified as organic. Okay, the dirty dozen. dozen. Fruits and vegetables that have the most pesticide residues. Those are the ones. Uh, therefore, if you like some of those. I see some disappointments. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I had quite a few disappointments. Uh, therefore, I, because you know that the organics are more expensive. Uh, so maybe, this is, kind of hurt. this is kind of like really hurt my heart seeing like every last single thing up there I eat. <laughs> so me too. <laughs> so is there is there anything besides just like how can we watch the pesticides off? The the pesticide is inside already. You can you can wash them, you can rinse them, and then you can remove some that is external. But if you notice bananas are not there, mangoes are not there because they have thick skin and uh, all these ones they have the skins are very you know it's very limited the, the skin the berries all the all the berries are say strawberries but all the berries are included there uh, let me let me be honest with you sometimes you have to put in a balance or I eat them with a little bit of pesticide because sometimes they put some pesticides, but it's